and welcome back to another episode of your signed line AC in a video. Now today we have this comment here. So you want the, the wheel to decide what I am going to be doing. Either a few easy missions or one of the one of the harder missions. But alright, I'm gonna do it right now, so, so we know ahead of time what we will be doing. We're gonna roll right now. Hold the fence line. Now that is an easy one. All right, fine. I guess I'll be doing that then. All right, I'm gonna build AC right now as well. Okay, so here we have the AC, Arctic Haze. Now, you did mention uh, spin a wheel to for either optional parts or OP Intensify. However, I manually decided to go for the re regular optional parts because we're already doing a fairly easy mission, so I don't want to overdo it. So, yeah, let's just go with normal optional parts. So. Seems like a pretty fast bill. I should not over... I should not uh, ignore the crow extension this time again. So I'm gonna try to remind myself to use the extension. Alright, um, well I guess, well, what we have is a nice 433 kilometers per hour without OPI. Uh, we have ourselves a nice little EO that can help us out. And we also have an energy shotgun, so that should be pretty cool, along with the howitzer. And, well, we have ourselves a crow here in case we happen to need to use that. But our energy regeneration seems to be pretty good as it is right now, because, well, um, we're not using OPI, so we're not exactly perfect but it still seems like it's pretty fine to me uh the energy shotgun does have a huge uh spread so i gotta keep that in mind so i think it is time to go and fight little bear now let's go okay so the intention is to close the gap and once you're close enough, use the howitzer, which did, I didn't hit with now. And once you're too close, that's where you start using your energy shotgun along with your EO. Though the EO is only a secondary, you said. Oh, hey, you're standing still, so that's perfect for my howitzer. And, well, okay, you're... Th oh my god, okay, that's draining a lot of energy. I need to be a bit more conservative with that and, you know, not spam too much. Alright, and then the crow is used to get away in case something gets too dangerous. Well, hold the fence line. It's it's not exactly a hard it's mission, and, well, let's see. So I'm gonna have a co-sort, so uh, b -b 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 what should I even choose here? Um, let's not go over the top. We're not gonna go higher in AC. I think I should just go with, uh, hang on, this is also an AC, right? Just to be sure. Yeah, that's an AC. So we're just gonna go with Beacon, which is just a normal MT, along with a plain MT. Then, at least, like, it's not gonna be an over-the-top, you know, AC that will help me. So this should be fine. Alright, here we go. So. Our first goal is, of course, to... Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that we're, there were going to be three of, uh, of these. The enemy is on the move. Uh, Hold your positions. <laughs> okay, this is literally the first time I ever f hired fighter jets to help me. But that is honestly pretty cool. Okay, there's the first one to show up. So, let me try to get it close and then use that. 
Okay, that was an easy destruction, but I noticed that one... No, they didn't pass. Uh, like this badly refreshing radar is honestly kind of annoying. Okay. Uh, uh, I wasn't planning to use my EO for whoever's next to me. Uh... Okay, is he still there? He is still there. Okay, and I managed to hit it. Good. And there is a few more. Uh, wh where? Hang on, my, my EO is shooting that way, but I don't see anything. Oh, there. Um, I managed to destroy that. Anything else showing up? Um, oh, my... Whoa, one of my fighter jets is already dead? Damn, that was quick. Um, was it maybe me that did that? I, I guess you guys can uh, check out uh, in, the, in the video replay on whether I possibly might have had a stray shot hit them. Okay, oh, uh, I had a black screen, but I, it wasn't dangerous enough that I wanted to turn the boss the game. Um, is that not... Really? I thought that was just going to be it. Well, whatever, you're dead. Well, at least I still have my one ground empty, who has taken quite a bit of damage, but... That doesn't seem to be too horrible. Okay, MTs, can you show up? Yes, you can. And I guess here? Oh, no, no, no. There. Uh, I, here. I, crow, ha, 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 crow. Well, sorry, I, I didn't want to have another mission where I ended up not using my crow. Uh, because right now there's not really too much danger going around. And I'm not fighting anything too hard, which means that... Uh, I don't really need to use the crow, so that kind of is annoying. I mean, I maybe I shouldn't have let the wheel randomized, and I should have just chosen the, 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 the Ibis fight, or Ibis, or whatever. But, ah, uh, this was a bit too easy. Rank A. Well, not entirely sure what to say. I mean, it looks like a cool AC, though. I especially like the colors and the, the frame. But it was one hell of a drainy AC. I mean, you even chose this howitzer because it just doesn't drain any energy. So you do that to conserve energy as much as possible. But my god, that was drainy. I guess with the optional part, OPI, it would have maybe been better. But, well... I kind of wish I had used this against something harder. So, like, the, the wheel decided that I had the line def defense line one. <sighs> oh, well, I, I guess that's, that's just how fate rolls. Um, well, either way, I hope that you guys still enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.